The Earth has seasons because its axis of rotation is tilted, a property it shares in common with some other planets in the solar system. It's tilted by an angle of 23.5 degrees to a line perpendicular to its orbital plane, shown here in green. Incidentally, the Earth shares this orbital plane with all the other planets in the solar system. From Earth, we see this plane as an imaginary line that all the planets in the Sun seem to follow through the sky. We call this line the ecliptic. Here we see the Earth on the 22nd of September, the autumn equinox, when the northern part of its axis is not pointing towards or away from the Sun, and day and night are exactly the same length. Next is the winter solstice, when the northern hemisphere is pointing away from the Sun. Following on is the spring equinox, when day and night are equal lengths again. Then we move to the summer solstice, the longest day in the northern hemisphere and the shortest in the southern hemisphere. And finally, we're back to the autumn equinox again. The word equinox comes from the Latin words for equal and night, equi, nox. The final part of the story is that the Earth's orbit is not perfectly circular. In fact, the Earth's orbit is rather eccentric and elliptical, and during the northern summer, the Earth is furthest away from the Sun at 152 million kilometres, as opposed to 147 million kilometres during the winter, when it's closest to the Sun. So you can see that the Earth's axis is tilted in the same direction all year round. The seasons are caused by the Sun's energy hitting the northern or southern hemisphere more directly as it orbits the Sun on its tilted axis. So that's what causes the seasons.